Luxseek simple queries are absolutely amazing. And these are my top five must have queries on how I use them every day. This is Tools on Tech, let's dive into it. Let's start strong with this book overview. It's a page property based simple search. Now I have this for many types like projects, contacts, authors, and at its core, it's simply one page for the type and pages containing the elements and data that point back towards it. Now I'm going to show you the properties by opening Project Hail Mary, which is an absolutely awesome book. And to show you the data side, we see a couple of properties there. Things like type that points back to the book, and I add things like the author, the state, tag, series, aliases, anything you might need or want related to the book. Once you have a couple of those, you want to create an overview. And the nice thing about using the same page that you used for the type is that I can click on book and end up at the overview page. In the overview page, I have two elements, one or more queries and a template for when I want to make more of that type. We will look at the template first. As you can see, it's a simple outline with a title and a sub element. And then the sub element contains all the properties and the default values that I want to collect. Once set up, I turn it into a template by right clicking the parent and picking a name, selecting the checkbox so I only get the sub data when I insert it. And now if I want to add a book, I usually just add a line to my journal with the book title click on it and then add the book template to fill in the details. As for the query, it only has one search element and that is page property. So I search for the property type and filter on book. It should give you a nice table and you can then use the properties function to hide columns and sort by clicking on the heading. I use this all the time. This is my shopping list. It's a collection of tasks that I marked with Albert Heijn, a Dutch supermarket. I'm sure if you use Logseek task management, then you might want to find the tasks that are marked with the same tag. So let me show you how I made this shopping list. I'm using the AND operator so we can first filter on all the tasks that are to do and then limit it to just Albert Heijn. Voila, I can now add anything to my shopping list by just creating a task or a group of tasks in my journal and it's ready on my phone when I go shopping. I'm currently testing multiple solutions on how to best sync my notes between my devices, but I will make a video about it once I've decided what is the most reliable solution. So stay tuned. If you absolutely can't wait, I would currently recommend looking at SyncFing. When writing my YouTube scripts in Logseek, I sometimes want a filtered view of my text. For example, every line that has the tag B-roll, so I have a list of scenes that I want to film outside this studio setting. For that, I use the AND marker to pick anything that has both the tag, B-roll, and the current page. Now you can add the name of the current page, but if you want to add this query to templates, then I recommend using the current page macro. Just remember, you can't zoom in because once you zoom in, the current page variable changes and the whole query falls apart. Obviously, this isn't just good for scripts. For example, when making meeting notes, I can mark sections with links to coworkers and create a personal overview of what a specific person has to do. I easily send them a quick reminder with just their tasks by using the copy as function. Remember that this query will also fetch anything from your journal if it has both a link to the current page and the tag. These are all my templates. But as you noticed in the book example, I keep my templates in separate files. Only a matter of time before you forget where you put that one template. Luckily, all templates have a template property. So it's easy enough to tell Logseek to fetch it for me using the property option and searching for template. Instead of keeping all my templates in one place, I just have one place where Logseek collects all my templates, saving me a lot of work. Finally, everybody loves a good habit tracker. Now I show hours here to keep track of the hours I work. I need to fill those in as a freelancer, but you can track anything like mood, time you got up, how you were feeling, kilometers run. And what I do is I add properties to my journal template and then fill those in every day when needed. I then use this query searching for page property again, but not expecting a value. So I get all the journal pages with property hours in it. I then sort it at created ad and I have a nice overview. And this turns my weekly time schedule job into a 10 second task. That's it for the simple queries. If you wanna dive into advanced queries, I highly recommend watching this video. Remember, you're awesome, keep it up.